Oh, John, yeah. it's gone off. I mean, fair enough, John, you had to go, but the thing is, we can't leave the door open now, can we? We just got out of that one. You ne we nearly, I nearly died there, John. I was seeing, I was seeing stars and all sorts of oh, things. I saw on. everything. I saw the whole world flash before me. That's why I had to get open the door and get out and get some fresh air. I, I, do you know, I've never been in such a, 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 a very... Hostile uh, environment. No, I've never been in the circumstances of one of these things. I didn't know how the door handle... I mean, yeah, I, I, I thought, you, you panicked, I panicked, yeah. I went into panic mode, and then I realised there is the handle, it's like John's arm, <laughs> it looks like John's little arm, little finger bobbing out, yeah. so just can you move that, just show, point, I didn't know that, but it went up, I was doing all sorts. Yeah, that locks it. Yeah, so that, we can't leave it like this, John, that, unlocked. That's the escape lever, <laughs> you know, when you're in a crash. Yeah. That's the escape. When you when you in a crash, you open this and jump out because there's no seatbelts on these cars. So if you're in a crash, it's yeah. instant death. Yeah. So the, the usual thing is just open this and get out quick. What happens if you get sea bound? Um, oh, so if you wake up and if you're alive, then that's oh, the. Well. Could that ever ever become jammed? Because it looks a bit no, like. No, the seatbelts in these. Um, some had inertia reel in, but the others were just slack things that cut you in half in an accident. <laughs> God. We shouldn't actually put these videos up, John, because you're laughing about accidents. <laughs> well, that's what they were designed to do, obviously. <laughs> well, My just, mate was a, a, yeah. a senior fire brigade officer and yeah. told me... Well, this was years ago. I said to him, what's the biggest killer then? You know, what, what's the biggest call shout-out for you guys? And he said, chip pans, electric blankets. I said, what about cars? He says, oh, Morris Oxford steering columns. And that's a Morrox Oxford. Steering column, yeah. Loads of people got sacrificed on those. So what do you mean? If this hits a head-on collision? In a head-on collision, that yeah. goes through your chest. Wow. The people were brave to drive these things to Scotland and back. Did you ever drive to Scotland and back? I did, yeah. And you... With the wife and the baby. And, and the where did you stay in Scotland? Um, in the back. Oh, all folds oh, it all folds down, so it's just like one big like yeah. bed. And we put curtains up all around. And we had a little cooker which had a chimney that came out the window. You wound the window down. So you lived in this for like for over like a month, yeah, in Scotland. Yeah. yeah. Very hippieish. How old was you then, mate? Mm, I don't know. Can't remember. It was so long ago. Did you have flowers in your hair as you drive? No, no, nothing like that. No. no. Didn't even have a hat. And it, yeah, that was all well, you need one in Scotland. You know, it could be yeah, summer. It, it all could. A hat. You know, I always think back one regret in life. Yeah. Should have took a hat. Fair play. <laughs>